now we've got a matchup, Brent, between two defensive-minded teams going head-to-head. -head. This should be fun. Yeah, this is a no easy buckets night. Everything will be earned tonight. That's the way we like it. High-level defense. Yeah, like one. Booker with it. Lillard picks him up. And the rejection by Giannis. Right wing. The Bucks working the ball around. And Andre Takumbo slams it in. Yeah, Lillard has a talent to move the ball. He's developed those sharp instincts. Screen by Nurkic. Booker with no one oh, yeah. around. Oh, Again, the miss by Booker. Pass to Lillard. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Feeling more and more comfortable in this offense. That's just Chris Middleton making a play. Outside for Beal. Misses the three. First quarter of play, one minute played. Down low. Over in the corner, Beverly. Out to the right wing. Fires from 14. Here's Giannis. And he makes good on the way. Giannis has got his second basket. And again, just taking right the corner. greatness right corner. Right for right granted corner. here. Amazing sequence from Giannis. Screen by Nurkic. KD with it. Now guarded by Middleton. Just five on the clock. Here's Booker. Off the left rim and out. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. Great idea to get your secondary scores involved early. This helps keep everybody engaged. Yeah, and he's so-so from there, but when he's hitting from deep, it's a big confidence builder. Now here's Booker. It's tipped. It's going to be out of bounds. The Suns will retain possession. Great energy on the deflection and a good job disrupting their offense. Yeah, appreciate the work right now on the defensive end. Out to the right wing. Bull oh. can't hit. And it's Milwaukee's ball. Right now, they're on a 9 nothing yeah. run. Hey, Brent, the foundation Good of the Bucks' success has been their defense. Wouldn't Good you ball. agree? Yeah, absolutely, Kevin. They continue to dominate in the paint, but they've also made tremendous strides in how they guard the three-point line, just doing a much better job of getting out there and contesting the three. Connects from three-point range. A two guard that can beat you in a variety of ways. Booker is more than just about chucking up threes. But he will make that. Now here's Ani de Kumbo. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Suns. Suns trail by six. You can shoot from the top. He got a good number, man. You got a good number. Booker looking around. And there's the call on Patrick Beverly. That is his first foul of the game. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. To the paint. And Nurkic gets it to go. Nice shot selection there. Nurkic finding a shooting window and making that one count. Screen by Antetokounmpo. And there's the call on Durant. That is his first foul of the game. Stay in that corner. I'm going where everybody put has got to go. But he's got Lillard way outside. Oh my God. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Durant wide open. Right. He fires. And the three off target. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And so Nurkic will bring it up for Phoenix. Four-point game. Now Nurkic getting more and more comfortable right side, right finding side. the open men on this team. Step up. Don't worry about it. Lillard with it. No. He's picked up by KD. Drills the three-pointer. And not where he earns his money, that three-point shot. Nah, you ain't got a but help, he's man. a good shooter from that range if he's got space. And there's the call on Patrick Beverly. That's foul number two for him. And so here's Phoenix. 
trailing by five. And finished off by Beal. Just another part of Devin Booker's amazing offensive game. He finds wide open guys. And GA for Bradley Beal. Finally a chance to contend with these Phoenix Suns. Yeah, for so long folks wondered how long Pete Lang was in a losing situation in D.C. Now he has an opportunity to play into June. Got a piece of it. To the inside. Watch the middle, watch the middle, watch the middle. Yeah, middle Let's the three fly. And a great oh, assist man. by Anacumbo as that one goes in. Lillard's got eight points. Lillard. That's just too easy. You got to get Lillard to put it down. In the corner, bowl with it. A three ball. The rebound by the Bucks. Lillard with it. Now guarded by Booker. Lillard misses. That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. You got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. And to Takumbo. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. A nice shot by Booker. And Booker does not yeah, lack confidence when it comes to his ball handling. Wow, sensational there. Over in the corner, Beverly. No. And the three ball is good. He's got nine. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. Here's Yacht. There he goes. You don't want to be jumping on a play like that. Wow, he was up there, Kevin. <laughs> I would love to see Giannis in the dunk contest. Wouldn't that be sweet? The three from KD. Back to bowl. One second left. Here's Nurkic. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. The first quarter concludes in a double-digit lead on the scoreboard. Bucks ahead. Ending the first. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Yeah, they look to oh fire as much as possible from outside the arc, and so far, they are hitting at a high clip. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. We all know Achilles injuries used to be career-ending. Kevin Durant says Dominique Wilkins was one of the first guys who came back the same. It was a motivation and gave me confidence that I could do the same. And now Wilkins says KD has really taken hold of this and become the spokesperson for this injury. So we're passing the torch. Kevin, back yeah. to you. Yeah, passing the torch, David. Thank you so much. Pass to Antetokounmpo. There's Giannis with the slam! Once Giannis gets the ball there, you can forget it. So, Brent, thinking back to the 2020 bubble, the Suns went 8 and 0. Clearly the springboard for that group. Yeah, amazing, Kevin. The team had missed 10 straight playoffs, and a lot of talk was made that that time in the bubble helped them to come together in ways that next season they weren't going to be denied. And they made the finals in 2021. And the franchise won 64 games in 2022. So the Suns are as bright as ever. And it's out of Dekumbo, top of the key. Here's Middleton. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. Middleton's got the lead up to 14 now for Milwaukee. Outside Durant. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Chris Middleton. That is his first foul of the game. Second team foul. Booker outside. And there's the call on Patrick Beverly. That's his third foul of the game. Yeah, clearly struggling here with the foul. Still early. And just one more will put him over the limit. Bangs home the trifecta. Booker's got 10. And at 7-2, Bull has incredible vision, including noticing when his teammates are open. Nice shot by Portis. Another 
another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Milwaukee leading by 11. Lillard scanning the floor. Here's Giannis. Giannis dunks it down. This is what makes Giannis such an elite player. His ability to score in those difficult situations down low with lots of bodies around. Screen by Nurkic. Booker outside. It's deflected. Stolen by Beverly. Middleton inside the three-point line. And it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. Well, it's the golden age of point guards and Patrick Beverly trying to show that he belongs amongst them. Great awareness on that play. Screen by Norkic. Outside Durant. And it's Beal in the corner. Shot clock at five. The three. The shot by KD. No good. Pass to Middleton. Launches it. Drills it from outside. He's got seven. Well, you've heard people say it's a make or miss leak. Does that hold true? It seems so, right? Shooting percentages correlate more with winning than possession stats, like turnovers or offensive rebounds. It's clear shot making has never been more valuable, but the ability to disrupt rhythm still plays a big role. And here's Booker from the arc. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. Lillard outside. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Pass to Portis. Back to Giannis. Double, double. To the middle. Milwaukee double. needs to get off a shot here. Good, and the assist oh, goes to Middleton. Giannis has got 12 points in the game. Dominating in effortless fashion. This is what Giannis does on a consistent basis. Screen by Nurkic. Here's Booker. And the Suns tack on two more. He didn't need to fade back. No one in his face, but he buried it anyway. Pass to Middleton. For three. Rebound by Nurkic. Really excellent defense there. They know he's capable of knocking it down from the outside, and they could not have played him better. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Screen by Nurkic. Near the three-point line, it's Booker. And it's Phoenix scoring again. And Booker just keeps taking him. He's a scoring machine. And you talk about explosive scoring. Wow, Devin Booker, Brent, one of the most explosive players of all time. So awesome to watch him when he gets rolling, Kevin, and that can happen in like three seconds. Uh, he's got such a great flow and control of what he can do offensively. And how about that? What a sensational finish. Yeah, you you got to be able to get some hang time to do that. The drive by Booker. And Bowl wide open. He shoots. No good on the triple. Beverly wide open. Offline with his three. Down the middle, down the middle, down the middle. It's so about it's a Kumbo. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And Giannis treating the defense like a magazine. Easy reading here for him. Screen by Nurkic. Back to Booker. Screen by Nurkic. Fires from 18. No good from Booker. Inside. There's Portis. And Portis throws it down. Yeah, and Portis needs to be pushed away from the rim. That's too easy. And the dunk by Booker. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Playing from behind right here. Not easy, but he is answering the bell. Yeah, doing anything he can right now to get his team to cut into this lead and give them a chance. 
Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Milwaukee. He made his mark in a big way on the boards in that quarter. Oh, right back after true. this break. Oh, uh, true. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, yeah, the Sox and the Bears with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback. One side trying to mount a comeback. Hold on, what do you mean? And that one goes out of bounds. Well, that's touched by Lillard. You know, you know, he let go. You know, he let go crazy. He'll focus you no more. Nah, yo. I ain't leave. I ain't leave. I ain't leave. Out of bounds. No one can take this. That's what I'm saying. I told him, I told him, bro. He's up in time on that one. They weren't on the same page there. They've been having more active niggas, feel me? You know me? And here's Lillard. He brings it up to the Milwaukee Bucks. Nah, I already told him. I'm still in the game. They had a 19-point lead. Under the bowl, I'm over here. Look, I'm in the bowl. Yeah, that's the one to the Kumbo. That's a problematic nigga right there. It's over Norkic. Yeah, that's the old hill chill, thing. Oh, that, bro, I said that shit earlier. You can hear me? That's right, why I said it. I told him about it. I'm not sure it was on the way oh, down, but that's yeah. Yeah. how they saw it. Let me see my dog Trey on the road. It's been great this year. This Milwaukee franchise. Yo, yo, what the fuck is that? The drafting of Giannis off the Kumbo. NBA? Yeah, all right. One thing, Kevin. Marbies? Also, Marbies? This is Marbies? Giannis has put him. After that, they have done a great job. It's like at least if it's not tomorrow, we have to re up and sign that extension with the Bucs to continue his career here. What would have happened? Oh, you got the first pick. The shot's good. I wouldn't go off first. I'm going to 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 go off first. Like Portis was communicating before he even set that one up. That's a great look. Not a shit game. They get the ass beat up. David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you. I thought Kevin. they were high. I thought 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 they were high. The new leadership aggressively made the trade for Kevin Durant last year and for Bradley Beal this summer. I don't get drafted by Dilly, but I'm gonna need you to. I'm gonna need you and Luca to set the package, bro. Sales price reflects the sense that this Phoenix market is one of the sleeping giants in the NBA. I got a plan. Yeah, I got a plan. I got a plan, man. Trust me, trust me. I'm not sure if Dilly is here in the stands tonight, but just trying to show that one off. Fading away on the shot was absolutely not. Necessary. I'm gonna be the gonna be the Ben Simmons to your Jimmy Butler to be. Here he goes. Ah, that ain't that. Because I'm very, you know, he's bro. Like, I like the win. Portis yeah. got Milford. Milford. No Nilton. 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 In that tight corner. Oh, for three. Why? <laughs> Why? Nah, you probably just had to hit the partnership by accident. Oh, this oh God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's really fucked that to nigga up. Yeah. It's really Here's fucked that nigga though. Like, no cap. I'm fucking with that nigga right there. I don't really know what that nigga right there. I don't really know what that nigga right there. I don't really know what that nigga right there. He's not one to blow layups. You give the team such a good time. You're a good time. You're a good time. Who can get to the team? Certainly something every team wants to get to the team. I'd like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. You know better than that. Looked like a simple play and turned into a turnover. Can't give away possessions like that. Brent, don't you I'll love your shit team? Yo, KK. Yo, KK, how are you up into a little ego? One of the things, Greg, he does what happened? so well is deflect you know everything what, or reflect everything back to him. It's <laughs> about mind. him. He'll compliment his that? teammates and then he'll take on the responsibility when the team isn't playing at its highest that? level. Nah, so don't double. even worry about it. Just get a wide open look for Portis. Gets the three pointer to fall. Portis has got six in the corner. I know what line you're in. Portis has like, Yo, become a bit more of a long three point chill shooter, out. settling into what they do offensively. Oh, I'm going to be cool. I'm going to be cool. What a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over.
He's getting nah, his don't first mute. I, hey, I'll be here. good. Don't say yeah, I ain't going mute you. I'm just saying, like, he was up over 90%. Like, and with a stroke yeah. like that, you see why. Durant As with the never muted. I, I, I get why you don't get this though. And the jump by Parker. Fantastic look from Durant. Such an underrated playmaker. Niggas, that be arguing in the Xbox party. Lillard outside. Out of the Kumbo, up top. Back to Lillard. Hold that, they walking shit down. They not walking shit down. They not walking shit down. Couple of days, they back in the game. They're going to be shut down. I'm good. Yo, Lillard. So they foul intentionally. Oh, he greened that. Oh, uh, Billy. Yeah, Steph asking me to hit bro. He's open. He's, He's got 25. A three-pointer is right on target. Raptors got 28. Yeah, we're about to be something I'm sorry about for the Rico. I got invited once, and niggas ain't never invited me again. Nah, bro, I'm going in there. I'm getting picked up. How you going to be fucking with me? Nah, that nigga, they probably got a game started, though. Niggas, everybody. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's such a critical part of how the offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. What? Who had the Warriors to the bad? I don't know you was going to get it, but the bad. Booker oh, draws we won. it up. Was Remember, I hit the uh, game on it. I hit just the game on it. I drove that one. You took me remember like I was there. No, you took me remember like I was there. No, you took me remember like I was there. Portis okay. brings the double team. I don't know who's Pino Kyrie. Yeah. I missed that mid. I missed the mid. And they said I drove from outside. I didn't give up. Offensive rebound. Nigga, bro. Here's Nigga, bro. 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 Running towards you, nigga. I run towards you with Kyrie. Nigga shot over me. And that massive wingspan coming into play there. We going to a high I got the I will go in that party and wrap my keys. And your point guards got to be the catalyst. Great job getting to the 10. Well, Greg, he knows when they need a win. This is his first free throw of the game. I don't know how to mock my. Yeah, what's, the, what's the mock look like? You, you going number two? Defending him last season. Is that the mock draft? How you doing that nigga? Good. He's talking about the mock draft. Well, when he gets into a group with the free throw line, does he just play for tonight? This no, might be two not, weeks, two that's months, that's something like that. He was. What a guy he did. He's not going. No, he's not going. He's not going. They've got their field goal percentage to thank for that. They've been hiding all over the floor. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Bro, Luke had the last pick. He's not going last pick, bro. He's not going last pick, bro. He is, because his team dropped in. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Oh, I didn't think of that. Willard with the ball. He brings it up. Everybody get the ball. Tell me, everybody get the ball. Green by Giannis. Step on, step Lillard, on the ass, Lillard, not on the bag, not on the bag, not on the bag, come on, man. What, so they just got 25 rounds and you got the bag, 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 I'm oh, God, God. Bro, I'm here now. All right, we're going to see. Well, I'm not God only being that, just bro. an all-around oh, player, I'm this I'm is going to go. some go. Go. huge go. strides in terms of building yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see. I believe, I believe you, but I don't believe you at the same time. I don't believe that you will win to your second round. Good job, good job. A player not gonna make up for Booker, a right side. Team, you know that. On the wing, a player Booker. not making up for whole teams. I'd rather just have the good team. Hey, but, but you act like there's that many ass teams. Good team, but you could probably get like third. Here's Paul. Yeah. I don't think Lillard. 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 I think Patrick Beverly loves the challenge every night to shut down his man. Bro, bro, bro. He takes great pride on the defensive end. Bro, he's not, bro. How many times I'm going to tell you? Let's take a knee. 
Bro, if we could take B second overall, like, he didn't have to trade up. All night, they've asked him to shoulder the scoring load, and he is not disappointed. With three, Booker. Yo, what's the fucking rebounded by the Bucks? What a draft. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't get this last one go for the ish. Number one pick, Columbus the Picks. Number two pick, OBC the God. Number three pick, whoever. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team. Both ends of the floor here tonight. Oh, yeah, you get to look take it again. Mix it out to Booker. Here's Paul. How do you know? I'm going to go ahead and try. Continuing for his pick. I think I think Spurs go number one. Time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. Along with Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson. This is Brian Anderson. And we've got our reporter, Ali LaForce. It's the New Jersey Nets and the Toronto Raptors. Pass to Lowry. Leonard outside. Siakam the screen. Shot clock at six. Leonard on the take. That's just terrifying coming down the lane. I mean, when Leonard is attacking with ferocity, man, the D has to foul. No good on that one. And the second free throw is good. Here's Kidd. Martin up top. Martin a screen. Pass to Van Horn. Down to five on the shot clock. He connects from downtown. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Leonard looking over the floor. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. The response from the claw. Leonard really wanted that three. To the paint. Here's Martin. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He will gladly take those. And the evolution of Siakam continues. Seeing him make great passes like this proves he's only getting better. Ooh, scary thought. And the basket is good. Hey, if you give him room, he's going to score the ball. Leonard outside. Oh, they get a hand on it. Here's Kittles. Oh, and there's a one-hand jam. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. <laughs> Once he poked it away, you knew what was on his mind. Outside for Green. The offensive rebound. And for some reason, he decided to foul there. Yeah, B.A., that's an odd move. Maybe there's something else behind it. On defense, New Jersey. Leonard outside. Six on the shot clock. The Raptors need to get off a shot. Siakam, no good. Pass to Kidd. Wide open look. And that one good. And Siakam has got the ball here for Toronto. Four point game. Ibaka with it. And it's blocked by Martin. And they get it back. And here's Lowry from the arc. Timeout, timeout. Nice work there to get a body, seal off his man, and collect the glass. That is textbook. Time called here. The Nets decide to talk it over.
that. Yo. Hey, Tom. Yeah. What they left to the Xbox? You said what? They left the Xbox set? Number 24. Nah, I don't think so. Richard Jefferson. Your people ain't in here. Nah, we in a party set. And here All are right. the first about three minutes in. Boy, the offense has been on point. <laughs> they have great timing and great communication. So hard to get stops against them. Martin. Siakam pulls down the board. Defense pulled out all the stops to shut him down there. Driving to the basket. Pass to Kittles. And it's going to be a three-second call. Into the lineup for your Raptors. Number three. Toronto trailing. Here's Siakam. No good. Some solid defense from Martin. Boy, that foul looked intentional. Not exactly what you'd expect here. Yeah, I know. It just doesn't make sense, given the situation. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. Martin. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. He's been playing great, unselfish basketball. Really putting the rock in the hands of the right shooters. His court vision has been on display in this one. He's doing a tremendous job just orchestrating the offense beautifully. Yeah, the level of creativity Leonard has is just special. He's capable of some really memorable throwdowns. No settling for an outside shot there. They went right to the hoop. 149 left to play in the first. Here's Kidd. Pass to Van Horn. And Kawhi Leonard gets a whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Second team foul. Into the There's a minute 34 left to play in the first. Martin the screen. Here's Kidd. Six to shoot. Martin right side. Pass to Kittles. No one near him. Count that one. Not all his mid-range jumpers are created equal. That's one they'll take all night long. Green for three. And he can't get that one. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. Inside. And Siakam with the slam. Yeah, no question Van Vliet was going to find his man. He has excellent court vision. And he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. He finds a shooter in motion and is confident he can run with the lead pass. Well done. One of them should be always be a light, brother. To the middle. Here's Siakam. Green for three. And a great assist by Van Vliet as that one goes. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. There's 37 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Kidd. And there's the drive. Excellent D there from Siakam. Down low. Here's Leonard. The kick out to Van Vliet. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. Here's Kittles. He drops it from range. Kittles has got seven points. Outside, green. The putback. Well, we've seen some great shots in the first quarter. No shortage of offense. It's the Nets, leading by four. Stay with us. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. It's halfway through the first half in this one. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Nets. 
So far, they haven't had to force anything. They're swinging the ball around and turning good passing into points. Time called here. The Nets decide to talk it over. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. Y'all good? Yeah, we straight. Nah, it's not that Y'all good? I can pop if they don't guard it. Bro. He, he probably don't need a pick. Y'all good? Yeah, it was yeah we good. good. I was just, I was just lagging. Beat. Everybody hit B, though. I don't know what they did. Yeah, the versatile scoring ability of Kawhi, whether long range, short range, mid range, he can do it all. You give a shooter of his caliber that much time to see it up? Oh, yeah, you're done. Pass to Leonard. Double team on Leonard. Three for three. Can't connect. Making him one for six from the field. Second quarter of basketball, about a minute played so far. Time called here. The Nets decide to talk it over. at the elbow and he comes up with a bucket Martin's got 10 points in the game love to see that kind of activity he just makes things happen pass to Leonard back to green Leonard outside clock at six from outside off the mark and this is exactly who you want taking that shot he just missed it. Down low. And there's the slam. Dunk to finish it off. Can you say immediate entry into the highlight reel? What a tough game. <laughs> it's showtime now, man. They've built up a lead, and they're starting to rub it in. Here's Van Horn. To the wing on the left. The kid. The second effort. Martin with the bucket. Martin's got eight points in the quarter. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. Out to Leonard. Double team on Leonard. To the middle. To win the run. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Personal foul. Free throw good. Green. Now it's Burrow at the line for two. Danny Green. 
And both free throws good for Green. And here in the second quarter of action, just a hair under two and a half minutes played. A nice shot by Kittle. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. They grab their own miss. Martin. Oh, yes. Whoa. Throw it down. Oh. And that one is hammered home. And I just love how he's making the effort plays that everyone around him appreciates. It is certainly making an impact tonight. Offensive rebounding is about hustle and determination. Huge putback, making a statement there. Inside, Siakam gets doubled. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. We've seen more than a few miscues from them tonight. And if they want to come back in this game, look, they got to clean up those mistakes. Martin the screen. Pass to Kittles. He shoots it. To the paint. And that one is stuffed right through. I'll be honest, he's having a better quarter than a lot of my nights back when I played. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for Toronto. Trailing by 17. And he lobs it up. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. We love it. And guys, to go on a big run, get some breathing space. It has to be a great play on each end. He'll get to his shot. Kawhi with a whole bag of tricks from in close. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Well, when you talk league expansion, Seattle and Las Vegas are mentioned, but Mexico City is another strong candidate. Commissioner Silver said, quote, I feel our manifest destiny is to grow, not just in the U.S., but outside as well. With the success that we've had in Canada, it makes sense that we could expand to the South as well, right? That's a good idea. I like it. You know they love basketball. Allie, thank you. And the dunk by Leonard. They're taking the opportunity to get airborne. Kawhi doesn't hold back when he sees an opening. Pass to Kid. Martin the screen. Here's Jefferson. He buries it from three. Jefferson's got five points in the quarter. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. And here's Green from the arc. And it's Martin with the rebound. Here's Kittles. Toronto grabs the miss. Here's Siakam. And then Siakam with the jam. And it's not always Leonard's forte, but he's really developed a solid passing game. The Bengals passing game, finding a rhythm. They've got it. Pass to Martin. 17 foot shot on the way. Second chance effort. Here's Kittles. Yo, yo, yo. Now Burrow on first down. Five on the clock. Here's Jefferson. Offensive rebound. Oh, and that one, no question. Powered it down. Oh, nothing soft about that. It was not going to be denied. Just took the dunk that was right in front of him. And that's his MOB physical. Get in position for the putback and throw it down. The defense guy knows that's what he's looking to do. And it's Green off the drive. Count it. Green's got seven points. You can tell Leonard sees the whole floor, allowing him to set guys up well. Here's Kittles. No good from outside. He got his defender off his feet with a pump fake, but couldn't knock it down. And so it's New Jersey, up 14 as we wrap up the quarter. They put in work down low, getting in close and scoring in bunches. Back to the game after this break. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Pass to Jefferson. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Now Green. Leonard for three. And it's Martin with the rebound. 
And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. A nice shot by Kittles. And here's Leonard. That's tipped. Powerful one-handed slam. Back to mix it up. Adding down. insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. <laughs> Once he poked it away, you knew what was on his mind. The three is up. Pure from three-point range. Kittles has got 19 points. Since halftime, they have been efficient and effective, making Coach very happy. Well, I credit some of that to their communication out on the floor. They are attacking as a unit. Kid. Here's Martin. And he takes that one up and powers it through. <laughs> Leaving absolutely nothing on the table right now. Their focus and execution has been outstanding. It's caused them to pull away a bit. Let's see if they can keep the train on the track. Good on the bucket. Even though his team is lagging behind, he's playing like winner. Too bad his attitude isn't spreading to the other guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up being. Pass to Kittles. Launches a three. Rebound by the Raptors. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Second chance shot. Siakam, no good. Green for three. On the wing, Green. And now we have an intentional foul. I'm not sure why. Yeah, bizarre play, B.A. Not sure what got into him. Here's Leonard. It falls again. He's now 8 for 12 from the floor. He is getting everything he wants. The defense is seemingly powerless to slow him down. It's sad. Martin a screen. Here's Kidd. Siakam pulls down the board. Stolen. Martin with the ball. And it's Leonard picking him up. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. And the foul called on the Toronto Raptors. And he drops the first. And so he makes both from the line. The Bengals in some discomfort. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. And Siakam has got the ball here for the Toronto Raptors. Siakam the screen. Back to Green. Leonard, left side. Here's Siakam. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. I like how Siakam uses his body control to adjust to what the defense is doing. And he's good on the second. On third down, Burrow. Right around three minutes into this second half. Defense loses him. It's complete. Look at the big fella go. Here's Kidd. And there's a whistle. That goes on Pascal Siakam. That's foul number two for him. And the Bengals come right out of the locker room and score here the opening minute. Here's Kidd. Hart in a screen. Pass to Van Horn. The three. Van Vliet with the suffocating defense. Surrenders no room. And Siakam with the slam. While he's a bit undersized for a four, he more than makes up for it with his balance. That'll be a move to remember. Wow. Yeah, great creativity in the air. A difficult situation for Toronto. Leonard outside. Gasol the screen. Three-pointer. Siakam for three. Here's Van Horn. Buries it from three. Van Horn got six points. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Here's Kidd. Here's Jefferson. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It goes on Fred Van Vliet. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Nets. 
their offense has been a well-oiled machine. They're moving the ball around, playing for one another, and just piling up assists. Now the Raptors with it. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Leonard's got 21 points in the game. <laughs> this jumper from Kawhi is pure. Once he gets his feet under him, the rest is easy. Puts the move on. Kid with the bucket. He's got six. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. Gasol with it. Martin picks him up. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Gasol. One fourteen left in the third quarter here. Martin outside. Kenny. Pass to Kid. And he's going for the oop here. Now that's a textbook alley-oop. I thought he'd go for the slam, but that worked. Here's Siakam. And he drew the blocking foul. So he'll go to the line to shoot a pair. Yeah, shooting more free throws as his career is going on. Siakam wants to get that percentage up. Siakam hits them both. This shit a fucking flood though right here. 56 seconds left in the third. Here's Van Horn. No good with the triple. Leonard on the wing. He's on the arc. Oh, he nails it. 10 for 14 after that one. Pretty Why are you just always done? Great as Sugar Kawhi has become. Really I one of the best the in the league. So why you like go the shot is good and he'll go to the line. I'll be in the court more than you. Maybe they've been going to him three. a little too much. Now he's having a great game, but his team is losing, and that is all that matters. There's 37 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Here's Kid. Uses the glass on the lane. Why oh, be on my dick so much? Kids God, got dude. eight. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. Here's Siakam. Oh, shit, look here. And then you got Gasol with Why the jam. Why so much, bro? It's been a blowout hey, thus you can't far, be, but they're trying to get out back into the game. game. You know how long ago that was? It was last year. It was last year. I just saved you the hassle, so I keep you out early, so you don't have to go up. First one falls for him. It, it, it was a year ago, man. He's perfect well, so from the line this time. Like, right. yeah, but, bro, like I said, that was last year. You lied up the party the other day, that's why I kicked you. And that's no, Gasol with the jam. Yeah. Yeah, they well, like, they're on the right I path now. I quit. Still yeah, exactly. in a pretty big See, hole. That's bad. But this is a money game, game again. What about money game? I wasn't going to win a money game. I wasn't going to win a money game. With how quickly that lead vaporized. That's the end of the game. And so it's New A sizable 18-point lead at the end of the period. They just can't miss right now. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Back to Van Vliet. Leonard on the wing. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Leonard's got 26. Oh, a fantastic score. Kawhi can put a barrage of points up quick. Pass to Van Horn. The three is up. Gasol grabs the board. Here's Toronto with the ball. They trail by 16. Hits the trifecta. Yeah, Kawhi has never relied on the three-pointer, but it's a part of his game that unlocks the rest of what he can do on the offensive end. And stolen by Leonard. To the inside. Siakam. And it's blocked by Martin. 4th quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Pass to Kid. Inside. Poke loose. And it's out of bounds. The Nets able to retain possession here. Into the lineup for the Nets. Number 21. Shot clock at 6. Martin a screen. 4-3. Good. 5 for 9 shooting so far. 
pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Yeah, one thing about Van Vliet, he makes the right decision most of the time. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Martin the screen. Pass to Kittles. Puts up a three. They get it back. Out to the wing. Here's Van Horn. Rebound by the Raptors. If he gets that look again, he should take it. You can't let one miss scare you off of a very good shot. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. Come on now, what a talent. Slips through the lane and just flushes it home. Oh, the D feeling some shame right there. That was big league. Pass to Van Vliet. Fires the three. And it's Martin with the rebound. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Yeah, why are you Mikey going on? Are you good? What, bro? You good, little boy? He didn't have his feet planted. Yeah, <laughs> he had kind of get picked up. Second team foul. Mm. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Back to Leonard. Down low. Here's Siakam. This kid is all burned. the slam! Wow! Siakam putting something extra on that one. Just a gifted player with style and substance. It's a weedy. And Danny Green gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Yo, TikToker. What, man? That's the kid. If you get dropped, about to flop. Let me hear it. Here's Van Horn. There's the triple. Here's Martin. When he's defending, Siakam is just all over you. Uh, he's I run got a, I run a straight and fast No scared of Luca. No dick Not this. sure why he committed the intentional right. foul. No purpose. Back, back. I think everyone's a little confused, but weird plays happen. On defense, New Jersey. They lead by 14. And here's Gasol. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Heady play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, they right, right, convert it at the line. At the line for two. That misses, so he splits the free throws. <gasps> here's Kid. Here's Scalabrini. Three pointer, no good. Pass to Siakam. Ooh, too long in the paint. And he's hit with a three second violation. And the technical free throw is good. And you know, guys, I mean, he is a solid free throw shooter. And of course, Leonard has everything in his game. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Nails it from three. Van Vliet's got himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. New Jersey leading. Martin outside. Out to the right wing. And stolen by Leonard. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Leonard's got 34 points. And New Jersey has possession. Here's Kidd. To the middle. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. And it only makes sense to give him the rock again. He put the team on his back all game. Yeah, just keep feeding him. That guy is a man on a mission. And the defense, well, they don't have much of an answer. Pass to Scalabrini. Here's Kittles. To the right side. Let's it go from deep. Gasol grabs the board. 
Green for three. Second shot opportunity. And he commits the intentional foul. All that good. He drops the first one. Man, and that bad. trims the lead to six. Siakam hits them both. He showed a lot of composure that trip to the line. Now it's almost a one possession game. Oh, make sure you like it. Here's Van Horn. And the three off target. And he came oh, all the way man. back. He can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. Yeah, <laughs> right now, he's just in his own head. Not much you can do to try and push through it. Now they try to, to the paint. Yeah, to shoot the Here's Martin. Game over game. Oh, and they, they really are trying to throw back back with a dunk track. on the other end. This has been the story of the they game. Trying to throw the, they can't wait to over here shooting the ball when they already won. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stops down the stretch because that's who's going to come away with this one. Wide open screen. I've been watching. Oh, he did lock him up. Here's Kid. Pass to Van Horn. Here's the three. Drops in the three. And the Nets lead by eight. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality, even with the game in total control. No let up with these guys. They're going for the throat now. Here's Kittles. Fires in the triple. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it Lynch. matters most. You think you pick up big you, neighbors or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Stride right at the crucial moments. They put this game away in style. And there's a three-second violation. That's what all these niggas do. Niggas fucking suck. Yeah, once again, your lobby's fucking suck. Look, Piana. All right, man. That's all right. Welcome, everyone, to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. It's the Chicago Bulls facing the Golden State Warriors. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. And the foul is called. He intentionally grabbed him there for some reason. I don't know. Kevin, and Kevin, all I can think of is that he's trying to slow the game down a little bit. Right. That's a stretch, though. Definitely a strange move on his part. So the Chicago Bulls able to put up the first points on the board. Here's Davis. Makes it off the glass. Physical at the one. Davis enjoys being down low. Much more comfortable there than jacking up threes. Now, here's Grant. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. <laughs> and so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for the Warriors. Pass to Azabuki. Golden State moves the ball around. And Harrington throws it down. Nice job hitting him right in stride. Excellent play. Jordan with it. Picked up by Davis. Two with the ball. Outside Pippen. Now Armstrong. Pass to Paxson. Just five to shoot. They grab their own miss. Grant. That's good. That's where Grant is most active. That offensive glass does a nice job using his body to get the position he needs. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup, so I'd agree with you there. For three, Paxson. Jordan outside. No good from Paxson. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. And here's Richardson. Count that bucket. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. Please, please, please. Now, here's Jordan. 
Pass to Armstrong. Back to Jordan. Pippen outside. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Boy, Pippen gets the bucket and is going to shoot the and one. Excellent concentration there. Chicago shooting their first free throw this game. To the wing right side. Back to Davis. Pass to Foyle. The shot will not fall. Some solid defense from Grant. The shot's good from Jordan. Jordan's got his second basket of the game. Boy, really good vision, very unselfish. That's why you run offense through Scottie Pippen. There's a screen. Richardson. And it's Richardson slamming it down. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Now, here's Richardson. Six points for him. Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration even for a nanosecond. Jordan with the ball. Picked up by Davis. Tries again. A nice shot by Jordan. Jordan's got six. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Now here's Davis. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. Yeah, gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. Here is Davis. Really like how active Grant is on defense. I mean, he takes a ton of pride in making things hard for his opponent. For Chicago, they have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. Free throw good, Jordan. And so Grant will bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. Pass to Armstrong. Screen by Grant. And here's Jordan outside. That one misses. His first miss of the game after making his first three. Harrington for three. And it's Chicago with the rebound. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Boy, outstanding ball movement from Paxson there, showing a willingness to involve his teammates. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Part of what makes him unique, guys, that combination of power and polish. And how about he takes on the defender head on and then throws down the two-hander. Nice. Straight power there. Straight power. Yeah, I love that determination right there. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. That's exactly how it should be done. Get the bump, concentrate on the shot, and you'll get the bucket too. Here is Armstrong. Still without a basket. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Richardson left side. Foyle can't get it to go. The Bulls leading to the middle. And Jordan throws it down. Jordan, so sweet to watch in the air. What a treat. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Pippen. Jordan with the bounce pass. The scoring fast and furious as we end the first quarter. It's the Bulls ending the first quarter on a 14 to 6 run.
And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Bulls. Well, I've liked their assertiveness inside. They've been getting that way and playing that way the whole time, setting the tone right away that the inside area is their territory. Takes a shot at the elbow. And that one's good by Pippen. Pippen's got five. Lethal from the mid-range. Pippen doesn't need much airspace to feel comfortable with that jumper. Here's Jackson. That's in there. Davis with the assist. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Pass to Paxson. Puts it up from 17. Pippen can't hit. You, you almost have to assume. Oh! Mm, mm, mm. My goodness. And, and Richardson's showing you why he's a two-time slam dunk champion on that one. Finishing with authority. Jordan with it. Picked up by Davis. It's Jordan with the drive. Lays it up and banks it in. 13 points in the game. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Jackson in the corner. Lock at six. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Shot from free throw range. And the basket by Harrington. And he should thank the team for those two points. Nobody paid much attention to him on that play. Jordan outside. Open for three. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. Scottie Pippen, a dependable shooter from here now. Like how he gets his feet set first. That's fundamental, but he's central. And there's the call on Michael Jordan. That is his first foul of the game. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. The Bulls leading by five. Jordan with it. Picked up by Davis. Here's Grant. And Grant slams it home. Grant is known as a really solid, non-flashy guy, but he's got some tricks up his sleeve, too, as he showed you there. Richardson up top. Ten points for him. Here's Davis. Richardson. Great positioning on the putback. Great job of crashing the offensive glass. He stayed with it. That's hard-nosed, tough basketball. Screen by Grant. Jordan outside. Outside for Pippen. Shot clock at six. And you see a move like that, Scotty Pippen may be the prototypical NBA slasher. That's a smooth, old-school move right there. Here's Davis. No good on that one. Some solid defense from Grant. Jordan way outside. The putback. It's good on the putback. Pippen's got the lead up to nine now for the Bulls. You know, Pippen is about 6'8", but he's got the wingspan of a condor using that reach to corral that rebound. Outstanding execution. Good job working the ball inside. And stolen by Richardson. Here's Davis driving to the basket. And it's Baron Davis with the finish. And Davis is fantastic at cutting into the lane. Such a confident offensive player. And the slam dunk by Pippen. Scoring the ball, he has been lethal and efficient. Wow. Warriors trail by seven. Pass to Azabuki. There's the drive. Chicago grabs the miss. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. A scene of confusion right uh -huh. there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. Jordan outside. And Don 
contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Watching Jordan take it to the rim. I love it, man. Looking determined to at least force the defense to foul. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Time out for Golden State. Yo. Okay, Bach ain't talking to Chris Boyer. Who? Blocker. Blocker. Put her in on. Y'all good? Yeah, we good, good. King King. Okay. This, this is Good for Jordan. You know, there's so much that's amazing to me about Jordan, but his endurance stands out. He consistently gets stronger, it seems, as the game goes on. Here's Richardson. Slammed in by Richardson. And I gotta say, sort of surprising he goes for a slam that difficult when they're trailing. Mm -hmm, but, but still, a magnificent move to the rim. I don't care what the score is there, fellas. That's the play we'll remember from this game, clearly. Bulls shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Wow, well, what, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> <laughs> and it's Jordan with the jam. Boy, what a ruthless, wicked dribble move that time by Jordan. Threw his defender off and got the space he needed to fire. Down low, Richardson. And it's Richardson slamming it down. Outstanding <laughs> distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Back to Pippen. Good work defensively by Richardson. Deflects the pass. Jordan with the ball. Picked up by Davis. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. That's in, and that's his fourth basket of the night. He's taken seven shots, a solid 57%. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. And slam dunk by Jordan. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Here's Davis. One second left. And blocked the ball with his pull. What a defensive play. And so it's Michael Jordan making things happen for Chicago. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Screen by Grant. And a wide open look for Jordan. Al Harrington grabs the board. Warriors trail by seven. Pass to Richardson. And here is Davis. No good on the triple. Here's Jordan. And
and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's on Jason Richardson. Hard not to respect how tough Jordan is inside. Really good at angling his body to pick up the foul call. Here is Davis. Eight points for him. Pass to Azabuki. Outside for Davis. And stolen by Jordan. Here he goes. And then slammed in by Jordan. You won't find a much more entertaining sight. I call that slam dunk contest level. Richardson, no luck. And after defending on the shot, he doesn't give up on the play. Follow that straight to the glass for the rebound. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on them. And here's Davis for three. It's all in by the Bulls. Pippen with the wide open look. Rebound by Azubuki. Warriors trail by 13. Davis with it. He's picked up by Pippen. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. Oh. Oh. And the Warriors with possession here. Searching for that first bucket here in the third. Six to shoot. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Second personal foul. And, and Harrington, quite the role player. A big man with a soft stroke from deep. Prime time shooter when he gets it going. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Outside, Jordan. Three-pointer. Al Harrington grabs the board. Warriors trail by 11. Pass to Foyle. Kicks it out to Richardson. This one for three. Good again. He's on tonight. Nine for 13 shooting. And the D has no answer for Richardson so far. He's getting whatever kind of shot he wants. Here's Pippen. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. And he can't hit the second. And maximum effort. That's what you see from Scotty Pippen game after game. He looks for ways to affect the game every minute. Fires top of the key. Davis with the bucket. Davis has got 10 points. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Jordan deciding where to go with it. Screened by Grant. Jordan is double. Here's Armstrong. And again, Chicago. No good. Jackson has the open look. Again, Golden State. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Well, it starts with defense. They got some stops, scored some buckets after that, and now we've got our I thought you were going to someone And it's Pippen missing. And it's Pippen slamming it down. What's it called? I've been, uh, being I've been, 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 I've Richardson left side. Rebound by Pippen. The Bulls leading by six. Here's Jordan. Can't hit from in close. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Team foul. Richardson with it. He's picked up by Jordan. Pass to Foyle. Outside for Harrington. 
Three on the clock. No one near him. Goes back up. Timeout called the Warriors. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. One thirty-three left to play in the third. They set the screen. Five to shoot. Some solid defense from Grant. The Bulls leading by six. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. It's been a nice stretch for them offensively. I mean, the communication's great. The movement's been really good. This is solid team basketball. And that one, good. I mean, if the defender is going to play off like that, then you know what's going to happen. There are going to be points put on the board. Here's Pippen. And the dunk by Grant. And you know, that level of physicality that Grant brings inside it is awesome to watch. He does a great job with finishing with that power above the rim. Jackson with the ball, and it's Richardson picking him up. Here's Pippen. There's 31 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Warriors trail by six, and out of bounds is Chicago Games possession. Boy, that's a moment he'd like to archive. Embarrassing lapse of judgment there. 26 seconds left in the third quarter. It's stolen by Davis. And no need to rush this. Let the clock run down. Yeah, don't give them another possession here. Excellent feed from Baron Davis that time. Pass to Jordan. Screened by Grant. And stolen by Richardson. And at the close of the third quarter, still a close game, and both teams putting up points in a hurry. Rolls out front, up by three. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. Davis with it. He's picked up by Jordan. Foyle can't get it to go. And we have an intentional foul there, G.A. Uh, wish I could say why. <laughs> that one's pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. Warriors on D. They trail by three. Ellis with it. The rebound by Grant. And so they foul intentionally. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, completely a brain fade. I don't know where that came from. Just lost sense of time and the situation. Fires for three. Trains the three-pointer. 
Armstrong's got himself on the board with three there. Quick adjustment that time by Armstrong. Gets the ball and gets his shot off immediately. Richardson with it. He's picked up by Pippen. And the call will be against Jason Richardson. That's his third foul of the game. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Excellent example of toughness and physicality on defense. Got his nose right in the middle of things and made a play. Pass to Paxson. Here is Armstrong. Outside Pippen. Screened by Grant. To the left side wing. Two on the clock. Launches a three. Another three for Chicago. And although point guard size, he does feature the touch of a shooting guard. B.J. showing off his range. Outside for Davis. From outside the arc. It's all in by the Bulls. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. And it's Davis with the ball for Golden State. Nine-point game. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Yeah, and, and I, I like this call because you want the refs in that situation. If there's any doubt, err on the side of giving the benefit of the doubt to the offensive player. That should have been a block, and it was. And Davis wide open. He shoots. Hands it from downtown. Oh, good find by Richardson and a smart pass. He doesn't second guess his instinct to move the ball. And Baron Davis picks up the foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. Here's Pippen, and it's blocked. Outside, Davis. Ellis wide open. And a miss there on the triple. Chicago leading by six. Pippen outside. Jacks up a three. Boxing with the ball. Picked up by Harrington. Back to Pippen. Corner shot. That one falls. Coming off of Paxson's feed. 20 points here for Scotty Pippen. Quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. It's picked off. Back to Jordan. Here's Pippen. It's Chicago with another bucket. And breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stance for the Bulls. They have been a wrecking ball defensively. Coming up with steals being active with their hands and just doing a terrific job of disrupting the rhythm. And I like what the defense is thinking here, but Pippen gets physical inside and insists on getting to his shot. Snatched away. Knocked loose. And an intentional foul right there. First personal foul. Second team foul. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. And with his strength, lateral quickness, and that 7-3 wingspan, Pippen is an exceptional defender. Here's Grant, and the dunk by Grant. That gives him a double-double in this one. 10 points and 19 rebounds. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for him. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And you know, those second-chance opportunities can be game-changers. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. And the Warriors making a change here. Here's Richardson. To halt the run. Off on the layup. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And, you know, they've got to be careful because this is when the team concept breaks down and guys start playing hero ball. Davis. And there's the drive. Chicago foul call. Second personal foul. 
That free throw missing. Well, you got to love the game of Richardson. I mean, he's a ridiculous athlete who also scores at a very efficient clip and has really refined his skill set to go with that tremendous athleticism. Wasted no time on that one. Paxson's got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. Near the three-point line, it's Harrington. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Grant with the ball. Steven Jackson covering. Grant goes in. And the dunk by Grant. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. They get it back. Thank you. Some solid defense there from Jackson. And it's yeah. Golden State's ball. Yeah, I'm here. We finna uh, uh, continue their journey as they play an interconference matchup in this road game. We're in Miami for some heat basketball. This hometown crowd ready to go. We're all set to bring you NBA action. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And of course, David Aldridge is joining us tonight from the sideline. Gobert with the block. No surprise Gobert sent that shot back. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. Incredibly for the Minnesota Timberwolves, Clark, the 2004 playoffs are the only time they've won a series. You know, Kevin, with Kevin Garnett, they had a few 50-win teams and some excellent coaches. That just tells you, I think, how hard it is to win in this league. Well, wide open luck for Love. Miami no good on that time either. Pass to Edwards. Three-pointer. Rebound by the Heat. Here's Butler. And it's Butler with the jam. And what can Adebayo do? I mean, gets the tough rebounds, scores the tough baskets, and then makes the right pass. Now here's Edwards. Now Gobert. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. Lock at six. Back to Edwards. And it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. Here's Miami now. Back to Butler. Outside, Hero. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Butler really sees the floor and finds his opportunities to move that ball around. The true team player. And there's a foul that goes on Jimmy Butler. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Here's Towns. And Towns throws it down. Nice read by Edwards there, finding a wide open teammate and sending the ball his way on target. Outside, Hero. Back to Butler. And out of it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touched by Hero. Well, I think that pass caught him off guard, but he showed us board hands, too. Here in the first, oh, just under five. two and a half minutes played so far. Gobert, the screen. Pass to Reed. And Robinson comes to help. Towns for three. Miami grabs the miss. Side Butler. Now Hero. And the Heat, another three. And look at how confident Hero is from range. He'll take that shot whenever possible. Gobert, the screen. And Edwards with the stuff. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, GA, well. the pick like working to full the effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, 
And that's exactly how you draw it up. Don't take your eyes off Bam. When he comes off the floor, he gets up and the slams are just too good to miss. Now here's Gobert. And the rejection by Love. Here's Butler. Here's Autobio. Off on the layup. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. And the 28th pick in the 2020 draft, Clark, Jaden McDaniels has more than outplayed his draft position. Yeah, you know, there were some question marks year one in college at UW, but you look at him now, hey, length, mobility, skill set, those are things that every team wants and needs. Right side downs. And that one's good. His second basket of four, shooting 50%. Towns is money off the catch and shoot. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Anthony Edwards. That is his first foul of the game. There's 138 left here in the opening quarter. Outside, Hero. And it's on a bio in the corner. And he makes that one. From about the extent of Adebayo's range, just far enough to keep the D honest. Over to the left wing. McDaniels in the post. And Reed has it in the corner. No good from outside. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And they double up up. And here's Love for three. That will not get it done. He's 0 for 2. And stolen by Butler. Let's it go with a three. Love, no luck. Timberwolves trail by four. Out to Edwards. No one near him. That's good on the jump shot. Gobert can look over the top of just about any defense right there. Delivers a nice pass. Clock management, this is where they can get a two for one. And Kevin, every opportunity counts. And it's Butler with the jam. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. You know what, guys? Honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, that's a lot of height to give up. Gobert. And slam dunk by Gobert. What a move by Gobert. Closing that open space in the pick and roll. To the inside. The kick outside to Butler. Outside Robinson. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Heat lead by two. Live from Miami, you're watching 2K. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far on the scoreboard. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from Miami, guys. Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. Well, the player and ball movement has been excellent. Finding space, operating in space, and when they've gotten open shots, they've knocked them down. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Hey, guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. Now, heat culture seems to be a cliche, but it's not. Jimmy Butler says we never lost confidence in this group, in ourselves. We know what we're capable of. We just have to go out and prove it. We're not worried about anybody else, just the guys in our locker room, coaching staff, ownership, management. Back to you guys. Boy, David, aren't they locked in? There's something else. Thank you. And finished off by Gobert. Gobert knows his strengths on offense and plays to him well. Hero from long range. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Hero's got eight points. 
So, Clark, here we are, adding tournaments in the Summer League, the in-season, the play-in tournament. The league is creating more elimination-type games in the schedule. Yeah, you know, I think it's been good. Well-received. It's enhanced the games. I think the fans enjoy it. I think the players actually enjoy it, particularly the young players, because they've seen it in other sports leagues. So competing under higher pressure for greater stakes more often, I think overall is a good thing. Kicks it out to Hero. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Hero's got five points in the quarter. Oh, a dead-eye shooter. Hero is always ready to snipe it off the feed. To the paint. And finished off by Gobert. And bullseye with that assist. Nice delivery there in traffic. And so it's Butler with it. He'll bring it up for Miami. Driving inside. Gobert with the defensive effort. These guys go flying through the air like that. I love it. Daniels showing what he's got on the slam there. And Clark, what can you say about Anthony Edwards? Living up to that first overall hype. He has been spectacular. Yeah, he has been, Kevin. I agree. Some were surprised he went first overall, but you look back at that draft, he was as good oh, as yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, doctor. Oh, my goodness. Anthony Edwards throwing it down with force. Get this guy in the dunk contest. And Love has it in the corner. Back to Robinson. Stolen by McDaniels. Edwards with it. Butler covering. And finished off by Edwards. Edwards is so physically developed already. Just brushes off the contact there. Really strong drive by Edwards. Hero attacking. To the middle. It's stolen by Gobert. Here's McDaniels. Whoa! Big time! Whoa dunk to finish it off a beauty rocketing right off the floor explosive jam by McDaniels pass to hero shot to stop the run good for the fifth time in five shots he remains perfect and this is the game plan for him he's a big part of their floor space and you know what it's all about the long distance game for him tonight he's getting it done from out there the three. The kick outside to Butler. And it's Adebayo in the corner. Off target from three-point range. Minnesota leading by four. Inside. Here's Reed. That shot misses. Great D that time from Adebayo. Robinson goes in. And he drops in the way up off the glass. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent pass. Here's Reed. Trains it from beyond the arc. And the Timberwolves leap by five. You know, the defense locks so much into Edwards that it creates opportunities for others. Back to Butler. Outside Robinson. And there's the three-second call. This one on the defense. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. Scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. And, guys, I love the movement. Doing a great job of just getting the ball on a string, creating some opportunities. And they double up Butler. Shoots it up. Bank shot. No good. Minnesota with the ball. Four-point game. Edwards can't hit. Let's it go from the wing. And he hits the jump shot. Heroes got 16. And this is why many are high on Hero. Possesses ability to kick it up a notch and just take over. Towns in the corner. This one for three. Rebound by the Heat. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Knocked loose. Down low. Hero on the wing. Outside Butler. To the inside. Adebayo. 
can't tie it up as that one misses. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Timberwolves ahead, up by two. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Right side, Edwards. Pass to Gobert. And slam dunk by Gobert. Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. You know, numbers don't always tell the story, guys, but his assist totals do paint the picture here. I mean, he's got everybody involved. Here's Robinson. To the middle. Inside. Here's Butler. Gobert pulls it in. And so Gobert will bring it up for Minnesota. They lead by four. Clark, when you think of top rebounders today, Rudy Gobert is a name that comes to mind. Yeah, he's super long and tall, but that's not just why he's such a dominant rebounder. He's got a real good knack for reading where balls are coming off, and the timing that he has is pretty impeccable, too. And even though he's north of seven feet tall, he does a good job boxing out as well. Here's Edwards. It doesn't go for him. Great D that time from Adebayo. And he dunks it down. And there's that vertical of Hero. Gets off the floor with ease and just hammers that one down. Gobert, the screen. Outside, Towns. To the paint. Gobert can't hit. For three, Edwards. And slam dunk by Gobert. This is what the team relies on Gobert for, clearing the glass and finishing the play. Pass to Robinson. Hero with it. Picked up by Edwards. Shrugs off the contact and dunks it. He'll go to the free throw line. And he shows us all what the breakaway rim was invented for. Can you believe he almost brought the whole thing down by hanging on that long? Boy, that was a great dunk, and we've got a great game here. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. Pass to Robinson. Butler feeling out a bit. And Love has it in the corner. Outside, Edwards. And here is McDaniel. Six points for him. Gobert can't hit. And it's still a rare sight to see oh. rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Boy, he has put in some major work. He's earning his pay, for sure. So, when we're talking about team identities, uh, Greg, what would you say is the Miami Heat's identity? Tough-nosed, aggressive, and hard-working. Uh, that's what attracted guys like Jimmy Butler here in the first place. And that's the style of ball they want to continue playing. The Heat with the lead. Right side, Butler. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Outside, Edwards. Towns, wide open. Hands it from downtown. Towns has got 11 points. One of the all-time shooting bigs. Towns is a marksman from deep. Outside Robinson. Pass to Butler. Back to Robinson. Wide open look. It's hauled in by Carl Anthony Towns. Total breakdown from the defense there. I mean, he'll usually take advantage when that's the case. Now Gobert. He's guarded by Adebayo. 
Here's McDaniels. And again, Minnesota with the triple. Attacking right away. McDaniels wasting no time there. It's stolen by Edwards. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Rudy Gobert is a fierce competitor. He says the average fan might not understand what I bring to the table, but the GMs in the league do. I want to be the best defensive player of all time. I want to be a force, and I want to win championships. I've got to set the tone every night. Kevin? And he does. He is a stopper, no doubt about it. David, thank you. Heat moving the ball around. And Adebayo throws it down. And, and didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Hey, I thought there was some style there, guys. What are you guys looking at? I mean, it was still a pretty sweet, flavorful one-hand flush. And that corner pocket triple, terrific shot by Edwards from deep. Hero with it. Picked up by Edwards. Back to Hero. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Hero's got 26 points. And all of a sudden, that three puts them in striking distance, guys. He's had that shot working all night. You bet he has. I mean, working overtime. The triple's been his bread and butter in this ball game. Nothing but butter. Sweet butter. He does not lack for confidence. He should. I mean, this guy's a dangerous scorer. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Jimmy and there's the foul. It goes on Jimmy Butler. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Heat on D. Outside, Edwards. Five on the clock. Their coaching staff wants Adebayo to be an impact defender, and they've got to be happy with his deep on that possession. And a great show through three quarters as we enter the fourth. Who will carry the day? Timberwolves lead by six. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. The Heat trail by six to the middle. Power down after the assist. Let him into the lane. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> but you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Hero with it. And it's Adebayo in the corner. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Edwards looking it over. Here's Gobert. No good on that one. Great D that time from Adebayo. Here's Robinson. And finished off by Robinson. Well, you see what you have here. I mean, the unselfishness of Butler, an often unsung trade of him. Outside, Edwards. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on Jimmy Butler. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats here for the Timberwolves? I like the fact that they've been very aggressive at the defensive end. Tenacious. They're jumping passing lanes and coming away with a lot of steals. Minnesota calls timeout.
And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Hey, guys, I listened in on what Chris Finch was talking about with his players. Now he wants his team to stop playing it safe. He said, we've got this lead by doing what we do, and we can keep it if we don't get too cautious. Play our game. Kevin? Thank you, David. He misses the free throw. So much confidence coming from Anthony Edwards. You can just see it. This is a guy who knows he belongs in the league and is hungry to be great. And it's Butler with the ball. He'll bring it up for Miami. They trail by six. Takes it inside for three. Love. A rebound by the Timberwolves. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Outside Edwards from downtown. A nice shot by McDaniel. McDaniel's got the lead up to nine now for the Timberwolves. So it's Miami now. Hero with it. Now guarded by Town. Outside Butler. And Love has it in the corner. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Boy, it sure is a lot of fun watching Love bury these outside shots. I mean, when he's hitting from deep, it opens up things for everybody. Inside, there's McDaniels. Pass to Towns. And stolen by Love. Here's Autobio. And a wide open look for Hero. Good, and Butler gets the assist. And now just a three point Minnesota lead. For three, Edwards. And again, Minnesota with the triple. The competitive fire of Anthony Edwards, admirable, going right back at him. Three pointer, Butler. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. And there's the foul. It goes on Jimmy Butler. That's it for him. He's fouled out of the game. And he has to take that long, slow walk back to the bench here. He'll watch the rest of this one from the sideline. Never good to lose a player to fouls, but fortunately, he's not the only talent they have. They got other guys that can fill his spot. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Here's Rozier. Outside, Hero. Pass to Rozier. Beyond the arc. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. No one near Edwards as he lets it fly. And there are the Timberwolves with another buggy. Yeah, you know, once Edwards flips that switch, now he stays fully engaged. His offensive arsenal is on full display. And, and you could see he knew exactly where that long rebound was coming off, able to get there quickly and snatch it up. And Minnesota has possession. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. Pass to Towns. Towns is double. Back to Edwards. Good, and the assist goes to Towns. Edwards got 29 in the game. Nice vision that time from Towns. And you know, he's got that skill set. And Robinson wide open. He shoots. A three-pointer is right on target. And in getting that three to go, he snaps an 11-0 run by the Timberwolves. Edwards drawing the double team. Towns, he's open. Rebound by the Heat. And here's Love from the arc. And Carl Anthony Towns pulls it down. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on them. Timberwolves leading by 14. Hey, hey. 109 left in the fourth quarter of this one. 
And clearly, we will not be witnessing a spirited comeback tonight, albeit as exciting as that would be. This was an excellent all-around performance for the Timberwolves. And they had to battle for this win. There were times when it looked like it was maybe slipping away a bit, but they never let that happen, which I thought was a real credit to them. And, and that's a product of their mental toughness. Anytime the flow of the game turned against them, instead of caving, they just dialed it up a notch and were able to pull away. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Anthony Edwards. And the way he was able to dice up their D with his passing really made things easy for everyone else on his team. Now the Timberwolves with it. It's a 14-point game. Minnesota calls timeout. They're Is leading Johnny on the, by Johnny 14. On the spot. Johnny on the We've got 28 spot. seconds left Johnny, to play man. here in the fourth. Yeah. Oh my bad. I was like, I didn't, I didn't, I had a countdown. What? Oh my god, really? You did. Nilly ass, he's washed. Can't get <laughs> send the bread. Jeez, Louise, my I got some bitches to fuck, and then I gotta go try out the Apple Vision Pro. And then... Nobody in the draft. Oh, these niggas in here. They just why y'all? I can't 